Hi everyone, I'm attempting to make some more ice cream again. And I'm making a strawberry, strawberry mango and and uh, banana. Because banana banana's the base, so I'm going I've got everything in my in my food processor as you can as you can see. I added no sugar, no milk. Hi. Added no hi early, added no sugar, no milk. I added I did have some pulp left over from the almond milk. I put that in there and a little bit of the cashew milk pulp as well and a little bit of honey I put in it plus my fruits my fresh my uh, fresh banana fresh mangoes and I had put some frozen mangoes in because the fresh ones weren't all that great and then I put some frozen strawberries so I'm hoping I'm going to pulse this a little bit before I start and we'll get it going now I'll start it up It looks like that might be the right consistency. I want to get it mixed real good. And I don't want to leave any chunks in it. Push this back. It sticks to the cupboard, I'm sorry. It wants to stick to the cupboard. <laughs> okay. As you can see, this is what it looks like. If I can, and I'll try to, to get my blade out, and then I will show you what it looks like once I get the blade out. I may have to scoop it out of here before I get the blade off it because it's, it's, I don't want to get myself cut. As you can see, look how thick it is. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? This is one I've never made before. Yeah, it is yum. Whoops, there are my blades coming out. I knew it would about the time, time I got to I take that and i got to scrape that off. Right. Take it. Whoops. Sticks it in my ice cream bowl. I haven't done ice cream in a while, and I thought I would do ice cream and just let you watch me making it because this is one I've never made before. And I've made banana and strawberry before, but I've never made mango. Made it with mango, and as you can see, it it uh, it fills the bowl right up. As you can see, look at the bowl. Uh, I, I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. I might be able to see it a little better. There we go. Now look at the bowl. It really it raised. It really made it thick. I <laughs> said someone didn't match me up. <laughs> okay, Valerie. <laughs> okay. Um, the I don't know if my email is on my profile or not, but. Uh, if you have a Facebook Messenger, you can just message me that way. Uh, because uh, the thing of it is with the ice cream, you can make it any old way you want. You can put anything in it you want. And make it. And I'm going to taste it to see how it tastes right now. Mm. Very good. <laughs> in Michigan, too. Oh, you check for it? Okay. Like I said, when you make, I make ice cream, I make it try, try to make it different each and every time. I don't make it the same. And... Uh, I think it's a very pretty color, and I wanted to use some ma fresh mangoes I had, and I put some frozen with it. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't it though? It is very good. And like I said, I had some pulp left from the almond milk and the cashew milk, and I used that. What was left of the almond milk? I still have some cashew milk left, pulp left, and put that in there too. No. Right here, this is what I'm going to eat for supper. I I fix enough just to eat it right right away, because I've heard, and I've never done it now. But I have heard that if you freeze ice cream that you've homemade yourself, it's going to get hard as a rock. And who in the heck wants to take a chisel and a hammer to get it apart? Not me. If I'm hungry for it, I want to be able to eat it right away. So I make just enough that I can eat it immediately. That's why I do this. Because I can do it immediately. immediately. Because Stacy said it gets real, real hard if you, if you put it in the freezer like that. 
Oh, that's what everybody keeps telling me that I'm losing weight. Thank you for saying so, Barbara. I just, it's just hard for me to tell it. Um, yeah, I know. it would. It's not right it's going to freeze hard, but I guess that's what it does. It freezes a lot harder than what you get out of the store. <clears throat> I mean, you can get that... <clears throat> you can, can eat the ice cream out of the store real easy, but this, if it gets the way you have to take a hammer and a chisel, how good is that? You know, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to, to eat it right away, and that's why I do this. I won't be able to be on here too long because I have to eat it before it gets soft. But I wanted you to see how I make this ice cream. And it worked real well in that food processor. I thought I would do it instead of my Ninja. And, you know, because it's a lot easier to wash it. And I'll more or less save my Ninja for the the milks and the smooth, uh, the big smoothies and stuff like that because that takes a lot more ingredients. But <coughs> it did real well making the, making the, uh, and you can see that it's, it's uh, pretty good. It comes off the spoon, but it's still all right. It's, it's the way, just the way I like it. It's good consistency. Oh, you're so much. You're so much. Uh, you're, you're welcome. What, what, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Ed, with, you're real, you're welcome. It's something that I like to do. And I haven't done this in a while, and I thought, well, I'll take a little time and do this before before I sit down and eat it. I knew I wouldn't get a lot in here because I normally don't for my ice cream scopes, but, you know, I'm not too worried about that. It's it's all good. Um, oh, you're going to put it on Periscope? Oh, good, good. I'll be anxious to see that. Hi, Dolores. You missed my ice cream that I just made, but I'll show you. I'll hold it up, and I'll show you. It's got uh, bananas and strawberries and mangoes in it. That's one I've never made before. Hi, good to see you. <coughs> good to see you, Carrie. And then I put some pulp from the almond milk and the and the cashew milk in there. And I also put some honey in it, too. A little bit of, flavored it up with about a teaspoon of honey. So I put a little bit of that in there, too. Yeah, doesn't it, though? It's, it, and I put it in my food processor this time instead of the Ninja. It mixes up a little bit different in the food processor, but that's fine because it's all going to go down anyway. It's, it's all good. So, welcome, welcome to everybody in here and that have come in. I thank you for this, you know, um, because uh, oh, I, I gotta grab my dog's dish and get her some water just a minute. What's water? I, I, oh, just a minute. I'll, I'll be right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. She was out of water with it being hot. She needs water. But anyway. Um, I like doing these scopes because what it does is encourages other people to want to do it too, and we all need to we all need to encourage each other because uh, you know we're all in this together. We're all in this journey together to lose weight, and to, to live healthy, you know, and eat well, and so we can all help each other. And that's what I do this for. I come in here so I can help each other. And Yvette and Erlene and all these that come in here. I know that you're learning from me and I can learn from you as well Because that's what it's all about learning from each other and because we, we each do things a different way Now I I'm going to next thing I'm going to make is the cashew sour cream I might make that tomorrow because I got the recipe off of Stacy's website and I might make that tomorrow It'll be the first time for that too, but it looks easy enough So I'll attempt that too, but you know these scopes like this. I think it's helping. It's helping me, and it's helping other people. I'm getting a lot of feedback on YouTube with it. So, oh, I I am so glad that you are Yvette, You know, and I, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. Help everybody learn. And you know, and I learn from others too. I learn from Stacy. I learn from Philip, and I learn from Mama Rose and all those that do cooking scopes. Oh, you're so very very welcome. Oh, um. Oh, you do, Barbara, huh? Yeah. I, I hope that I'm going to come on in the morning and I'll do that. If you get the whistle and you see that it's me, come on and do that. Because I wrote the, uh, the information down while she was doing her periscope, her her walking scope I was writing. I went to her website and I was writing it down while she was on periscope. And uh, I wanted to wait till she got done before I did my ice cream. But uh, I she said everything on there is easy to do. And there's Stacy. <laughs> I just made my ice cream, Stacy. I made banana, strawberry, mango ice cream this time. And I put some pulp from the almond milk and cashew milk in it. Plus, I put some honey in it. Um, oh, it turned out really good. It turned out. In fact, I had, I had some tofurkey sandwiches for lunch, and I put the cashew cheese on top. It was very good. I spread it on top. Because, you know, it's more or less like a spread right now. But that's okay. It tasted real good. Hi, Stacy. It tasted really good. And uh, I think my ice cream come out real good. And it's not one I've done before. I've, I've done banana strawberry, but, I'm, but I've never done banana strawberry and mango. And uh, 
by itself. I've done mango and pear or mango and peach, but I want to do this. And I, like I said, I put the pulp from the almond milk and from the, and the cashew milk in there because that's good to use it that way too. And I put a little bit of honey in this too. You know, I flavored up my own way. Everybody else does it different than me. They may not put honey in it. They may not put any sweeteners in it at all. But I like to put a little bit of sweetener, so I thought I'd put some raw honey into it. So, and I've already tasted it, and it's really good. So, but I'm not going to be able to be on here too long because it'll get like water if I do. But, you know, I wanted to be show you just a little bit, and you can see it filled my bowl up. So I'm going to be eating this for a while. You know, I just hope I don't get brain freeze doing it. But anyway, I thank you for... Um, what did I make? I made I made a banana, strawberry, mango, ice cream with the uh, with the with I put some pulp in from the from the um, uh, cashew milk and the almond milk and then I put a little bit of honey in it too. So, but I I made banana and strawberry before and mango, but I've never but but I've never scoped it. So. Um, it's right here. I showed it. It's right here, Stacy. I just held it up. Oh, see, I, if you can see it, I don't want to up oh, strike and drip out of the bowl. But you'll have to watch the you'll have to watch the scope of mixing. And I had everything in the in the container when I started. So I used my food processor this time instead of my Ninja, but it came out really good. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll have to uh, I'll have to go ahead and start eating it though because it's going to get a little soft on me. It's going to run out of the bowl, and then I won't be able to eat it at all. So, I think I'm. Okay, I think I'm going to go for now. Just call this periscope, cut it off because I need to go ahead and eat it. But I will come on tomorrow and I will make the cashew um, sour cream that Stacy has on her website. So hopefully that will all go well too. So you can come in tomorrow and watch that. So but I thank you for coming in and sharing with your followers on this. And you all have a great night wherever you might be. Take care. God bless and bye-bye.